Now this is Lake Life, executive condominium right in the heart of the Jurong Lake District transformation. It's been a while but I'm back on top to the world is mine, I don't plan to stop. Melvin likes to see it, right? <laughs> Melvin, I've done you proud. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet, get on out the door, take you to the street. We have a 1,076 square feet unit with $60,000 worth of renovations pumped into it. Oh yeah, this is the Melvin Power. Melvin Power! <laughs> Priced at a very attractive $1.35 million for one of the best facing units. Come check it out with us, let's go! So welcome into the unit. Now let me just bring you to the balcony to show you this beautiful pool view. So from the unit, you get this beautiful double facing towards the internal pool view as well as the exterior Jurong Lake Gardens. You can also see the Jurong Business Hub from here. That's JTC Summit right there. You also have Westgate Tower where you have some of your great A offices. That's also the big boy of Jurong where you see J Gateway Condo, the Westgate Malls as well as Jam Malls right over there. Located right in the heart of the Jurong Lake District transformation but you're also in the more quieter side of the district so I think that would suit people who prefer a more serene environment and yet not want to be in the more congested areas. So now let's head back inside while I share with you some of the facts of the property. Lake Life is an executive condominium which just TOP in 2016. The MOP date was just back in December 2021. 546 units in total, 5 towers in this entire development. 43% of the development belongs to the 3 bedroom types. 48% of the development belongs to the 4 bedroom types. And the remaining units belong to the 2 bedroom types. They also have 3% which belongs to the 5 bedroom types which happen to be the stack located just right beside us. So only these two stacks get to enjoy this pool view as well as the exterior view in this development. So there are two different layouts of the three bedrooms for you to choose from, the three bedroom types and the three bedroom premium types. The most distinct difference is that the three bedroom premium types has an additional floor space for you to carve out an additional study area. And for this three bedroom layout that we are in today, it has this very beautiful big balcony for you to enjoy the entire pool view as well as all the way through to Jurong Lake Gardens. Let's start the home tour right at the entrance for you. Right at the entrance for you, you have the full height mirror that is located right at the door which makes it easy for you to just check yourself out before you head out. Over here, there is some cabinetry done up. Lower compartments are used for shoe storages and on top apartments for you to store some miscellaneous stuff. You also have cutout spaces for you to display some of your collectibles as well as the lower cutout spaces to put some of your larger shoes. So your DB box and your fiber optics are located just right beside your kitchen so I think that's great. You also get good connectivity throughout your living room. You also have this additional barn door that the owners installed for the kitchen so I think this adds a really nice accent throughout the entire entrance foyer. Coming into your living room, you have 12 panels of cabinetry space done up for you so I think that is more than enough storage for any of your clutter. There is also an additional cutout space right here for you to display all your collectibles and put your coffee machine or if you're having hot pot here then I think this is extra space for you to put all your ingredients. Four ceiling with cove lighting which adds the ambiance to the entire living area is done up already. You also have a ceiling fan which ventilates the area really well if you prefer to have the natural ventilation. Flooring is done with marble gum so that's actually a polished finish on top of the homogeneous tiles. That really gives you a different texture than your regular homogeneous tiles and really give you a nice glossy finish. Dining area is currently a four-seater. I think if you want to do up to a six-seater, you have more than enough space right here. Full-length mirror done up on that side of the wall which really gives you the illusion of having a bigger space. Even with the long hanging lights, you still have a very good ceiling height which is great. If you prefer to have a bigger dining area and have more guests over, then I think what you can consider is to have this alfresco set at dining area right here. Your balcony is more than enough space to fit an 8 or 10 seater dining set given the entire length of the balcony. Right now it fits a 4 seater. With this alfresco set, you also have space for a 2 seater swing chair. So I think you can just sit down right here and enjoy the Jurong Lake Gardens view that is just right over there. Zip track is done for the entire length of the balcony. You also have one more panel right here to enclose the entire balcony. So if you want to open up your windows with air conditioning on, I think that can be easily done. Two ceiling fans serve the entire balcony area. Now let's head on back in to talk a little bit more about the location analysis of the whole district of Jurong. The great thing about Jurong District 22 is that if you're looking to stay in close proximity towards the MRT, 
then you have a few developments to choose from. So the big boy of the district is definitely those nearer to Jurong East MRT like J Gateway, Ivory Heights and Westmere. Three bedroom units there are going for about $1.5 million to about $1.8 million. Then you have the two developments right at Chinese Garden MRT, Park Oasis and the Mayfair. These were the first two developments that actually sprouted up in the whole entire Jurong precinct. Three bedroom units there are going for about $1.2 million to about $1.4 million. You also have the OG big boy of Jurong at Boon Lay MRT which is the Centris and it still remains to be a very popular project because it's the integrated development of the district. Three bedroom units start from $1.4 million onwards and stretches all the way to $1.7 million. And lastly you have the cluster at Lakeside MRT which is gaining in popularity because it's less congested and crowded. Residents also get to enjoy the tranquility and beauty of Jurong Lake Gardens which really gives you a great lifestyle factor for those living around here. Asking prices for the three bedroom units in this area range from $1.3 million for the older projects and $1.9 million for some of the newer developments. So if your priority is to live near the MRT, then these are some of your options available. But do note that if you want to be near the MRT because of the better connectivity, you will have to pay a certain premium. But if you're looking to keep your quantum within the 1.3 million mark and not have to compromise for other lifestyle factors, then you may want to consider executive condominium developments which are just a few bus stops away from the MRT and you'll be able to find something suitable to your liking and keep it within your budget. And because ECs are subsidised products launched in conjunction with HDB, you're benefiting buying in lower than the other private condominiums and at the same time not have to pay the MRT premium. So that will give you a very good sized unit and a very attractive quantum for something newer. Now let me show you the kitchen. Your kitchen has this very beautiful barn door which encloses it so if you want to do any heavy cooking that is already catered for you have your big ventilation window right here so i think when you enclose the kitchen all the fumes will just be extruded from here you also have your aircon latch which has your two compressors serving the entire unit washer area is right here so this is your yard area stegen drying rack is done on top so that just eliminates the need for a dryer because you can just hang it and the stegen rack does it for you right here you have your cooker hood and hot two burner oven right down below more than enough cooking area and prep space Cabinet Batteries all came with the unit originally, so you have more than enough storage space throughout the entire kitchen. Fridge space can store a two-door fridge, which is more than ample. If you want to go a bit bigger, you also have space by the sides to expand further. Now let's check out the first common room. So currently the first common room is being used as the baby and toddler's room. If you want to convert it into a full bedroom, then you can just take away the cot and put in a single size bed, maybe super single. It can even go up to a queen because right here you have the sliding wardrobe panels. So it wouldn't deter you from opening this up even if you fit a queen. Flooring has actually been overlaid with this wooden textured vinyl. So I think that's great to protect the tiles below and as well give you a different theme for the bedrooms. Four ceiling, cove lighting as well as ceiling fan done up. I think that really gives you a different ambiance and feel for the bedroom. The one thing that the owners have done additionally is they actually rewired the entire house even though they got it new. A lot of additional power points added throughout the entire unit as well as the very important data point that is added right here which will give you very good connectivity for your internet throughout the entire unit. If you're hunting for the three bedroom non-premium unit types in Lake Life, you have the exterior facing stacks of 03, 06, 07 and 29 and you also have the internal facing stack 01 at block 2 which in our opinion is the best stack within the development because not only do you get to enjoy the pool view plus the Jurong Lake Gardens view and our owners actually share with us that even though they were the first few purchases that were given priority to select any of the units within this development they actually chose this particular stack and as well as this level because it is the last level that is connected to the multi-storey car park. You're also the closest block to the bus stop or this development at Corporation Drive. The Sky Dining, Show Kitchen and the Sky Gym is also within block 2 on the 20th floor right above you. And because you're not located directly beside the road, you also get very minimal road noise. So I think you have all these intangible features that benefit you from day to day. So now let me show you the common bathroom. I'm thinking I found my paradise Sipping song meal with the sun blind in my eyes the owners have actually just done up the vanity mirror with some ambient lighting around it. You also have the ventilation window which is now concealed by the vanity mirror. But that's also because they added the ventilation fan right on top of the bathroom and I think that helps eliminate the humidity from the bathroom better than the natural ventilation from the ventilation window. You also get extra storage space right at the back of the mirrors. Now let me show you the common bedroom too. Just 
you have the same ceiling fan, cove lighting as well as the four ceiling that is done up here already. Right now, it is a study room for the owners. Three monitors fitted right here. I think this is the exact same length as what a queen size bed will be. So when you come into this room, you might find the massage chair a bit out of place, but that's because the owners actually deliberately want to place this facing towards the pool view as well as the Jurong Lake Gardens view. Full high windows that is common in the three bedroom, so that gives you a lot of natural light coming in. This is also an east facing unit. You're not attacked by the afternoon sun. If you're a family of three or four, then maybe you want to just convert that room back into a bedroom and just remain this as a study room. For some time, Jurong Lake District has actually been touted to be the next CBD in Singapore. How the government intends to do that is via the Tuas Megaport. With the relocation of all our current ports towards Tuas by 2040, which will be the world's largest fully automated terminal in a single location, built on a space that is two times the size of Ang Mo Kio, the next generation port in Tuas is the future of maritime Singapore in its skill and capability. So this will attract businesses to be located within the proximity of the Tuas Megaport because this will help streamline their logistical sites of the business so you don't have to transport their goods and products to other parts of Singapore only to redistribute it back to the western areas. I think that will enhance the interest and demand for the housing within Jurong and surrounding areas. So now let me show you the master bedroom. Owners have actually done out a platform bed for their master bedroom. Very good size bedroom, currently fits a king size. Because of the storage bed, you don't feel like there's any wasted space because all the space is used up as extra storage. And this is a very good height platform bed because even as I'm standing on top of the platform bed, I still have a very good height towards the ceiling and even the floor ceiling. So the platform bed is done up as the same tonality as the cabinetry is done up outside. Just check out the view from your master bedroom. You get the same view throughout the entire unit. Paintball is nicely done up to conceal some of the wirings as well as some of the items that you may have. You can put your remote controls and your handphones so that's just extra surface space for you. Coming here, you have your huge two panel wardrobe, full floor to ceiling height of the wardrobe space so I think that gives you more than enough ample space for storage. Lastly, you have the master bathroom. You have the same vanity mirror that is done up already. Ventilation fan to help you eliminate any of the humidity. The bathroom also comes with a latch for you to put some of your shampoo bottles and things like that. So if you're a parent looking to stay within Lake Life, then you'll be glad to know for schools within 1km, Lakeside Primary, within 2km, you have Fuwa Primary School, Rulang Primary School, Shu Chin Primary School, and Boon Lake Garden Primary School. Why do you even bother making up problems? I don't get time for that, no. Thank you for staying with us throughout this home tour. If you'd like to view this 1,076 square feet unit with $60,000 worth of renovation pumped into it, located right in the heart of the Jurong Lake District transformation, priced at a very attractive $1.35 million for one of the best facing units, then do give our listing managers a call. Their numbers are just right down below. Do remember to like and subscribe to our Property Link Brothers YouTube channel and keep a lookout for our next home tour content. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. My name is Sebastian, Property Link Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Hey, don't park here, bro. bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> Come check it out, brother. Right, welcome. Oh, let's... Come down. Chin down. Look at the camera. Then I will. Okay, wait. Close the bundle first. So, additional wardrobe. Ah. Additional wardrobe. Huh? So, your DB box is right. 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 Ah. Melvin always do it. So. Means I got watch our home tour and do homework. <laughs> so, <laughs> can see on this and please. Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, you have the master bedroom, which has the same master bedroom. Uh, you sleep inside here. <laughs>